with the protected conflict being coupled with the cholera epidemic in Yemen since March of 2015, Yemen remained to uh, portray a limited wash coverage for its residents. Increasing conflict driving displacement has also put additional strain on the part of the or uh, non functional wash infrastructure in key hotspot, governorates, health facilities, and most water utilities face difficult in the sustainable operation maintenance and development. 22.2 million people are in Yemen needs for the help in Yemen. The, population, the total population in Yemen, about 28 million. 16 million people lack the basic access to safe water and sanitation services in terms of the quality and quantity. Majority of piped water system are non-functional either due to the conflict or limited resources of the government land agencies. The focus is especially in Northern Governorate, which majority of population living there. There is no budget, there is no salary, there is no operation uh, cost and maintenance uh, with the government, nothing. If you see uh, epidemic, uh, epidemic curve with the SFF, SCFR, we notice in the week uh, 37 is highest because this is the, uh, the, 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 the rain season. And if we notice in the week third in 2019, the curve is, I mean, reduced. Highlight on the situation update. Community figures from 27 April 2017, 4,587 confirmed cases, 300 affected districts of 333 districts. Community figure from 1 uh, 1st January 2018 to 20. January 2018, suspected cases uh, 396,000, 8,639 suspected cases in third week in third week of January 2019. Associated death uh, 531, associated death five in third week of January 2019. I mean, this is that mean uh, the death is uh, reducing. Uh, Governorates affected, uh, 22 of 23 governorates are affected. District affected, 311 of 333 district is affected. If we notice the cases by age, uh, the age under five and under 14, this is, I mean, uh, majority of the affected age. This is about uh, uh, six, uh, 56 of the older age. And cases by six almost equal, if you notice that. Yemen water sector damage assessment conducted by JIZ in May 2018, barbed collapsed urban water and sanitation system, lack of means to maintain personal hygiene and reduced financial ability to meet basic wash needs has greatly uh, contributed to recurring uh, outbreak of the cholera. If you see all the, most of the key, uh, cases in the north, northern and western part of the country, which majority of the population. And uh, also the place of the conflict. In this, uh, in this, I mean, site, about 46 front, I mean, 46 escalation uh, sites in this, uh, in this uh, site, in, and the most affected area of cholera and door also. Uh, WHO focus, WHO responsible of wash in uh, health facilities, CTC, DTCs, and ORCs. WHO provided the support for repair, repair man, uh, maintenance, and rehabilitation of wash infrastructure on over 170 health facilities. We're talking about the governor, I mean, hospital, and inter district hospital and district hospital. Uh, this is, I mean, big hospital. WHO, WHO support water authorities, Ministry of Environment and uh, Water and Environment in terms of water quality testing by support rehabilitation of laboratories and uh, train the staff in different governances on water quality testing. UNICEF also support local water uh, corporation by fuel, by incentive. 
and the main cities. I mean, uh, main cities is mean the capital of the governorate. They are working this, I mean, local water corporation. For example, in Sana, there, there is about five and a half million with uh, IDBs. They, uh, the residents, they get water maybe two to three times per month. Not all the cities, but yeah, almost 50% of the citizen. Uh, the UNICEF contacted coronation water sources and at household after vaccination after the vaccination campaign uh, with cooperation with UNICEF and WHC conducted in May and August 2018 and additional resources are mobilized in terms of wash activities hence resulted in the uh, reduction in cholera numbers of cases challenges lack of wash enabling environment and bigger. Non-functional wash infrastructure in Yemen, budget for the operation and maintenance for health facilities falls in the cracks, limited ability in terms of resources mobilization by government line agencies to support the operation and maintenance of the wash infrastructure, local water uh, corporation, uh, general water authorities in rural water, uh, in rural area, and uh, um, many uh, I mean, agencies related with water limited access and, and uh, shrinking of humanitarian access and space due to the ongoing conflict. Thank you. <laughs>